Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about what is data mining. Before we start, let us discuss about the key takeaways of this session. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand what is data mining, examples of data mining, types of data mining, and the last one is benefits of data mining. So let's start our discussion and talk about what is data mining. Data mining is the process of sorting through large data sets to identify patterns and relationships that can help solve business problems through data analysis. Data mining techniques and tools enables enterprises to predict future trends and make more informed business decisions. Data mining is a key part of data analytics overall and one of the core disciplines in data science which uses advanced analytics techniques to find useful information in data sets. At a more granular level, data mining is a step in the knowledge discovery in database KDD process, a data science methodology for gathering, processing and analyzing data. Data mining and KDD are sometimes referred to interchangeably, but they are more commonly seen as distinct things. Data mining is a process used by companies to turn raw data into useful information. By using software to look for patterns in large batches of data, businesses can learn more about their customers to develop more effective marketing strategies, increase sales and decreases costs. Data mining depends on effective data collection, warehousing and computer processing. Data mining, also known as knowledge discovery in data KDD, is the process of discovering patterns and other valuable information from large data sets. Given the evaluation of data warehousing technology and the growth of big data, adoption of data mining techniques has rapidly accelerated over the last couple of decades, assisting companies by transforming their raw data into useful knowledge. However, despite the fact that technology continuously involves to handle data at a large scale, leaders still face challenges with scalability and automation. Data mining has improved organizational decision making through insightful data analysis. The data mining techniques that underpin these analysis can be divided into two main purposes. They can either describe the target data set or they can predict outcomes through the use of machine learning algorithms. Let us move forward to our next topic, which is examples of data mining. The first one is eBay and e-commerce. eBay collects countless bits of information every day, ranging from listings, sales, buyers and sellers. eBay uses data mining to attribute relationships between products, assess desired prices ranges, analyze pre-all, purchase patterns, and forms product categories. eBay outlines the recommendation processes as raw item metadata and user historical data is aggregated. Scripts are run on a trained model to generate and predict the item and user. A KNN search is performed. The results are written to a database. And the last one is the real-time recommendation takes the user ID, calls the database results and displays them to the user. The second one is Facebook Cambridge Analytical Scandal. Another cautionary example of data mining includes the Facebook Cambridge Analytical Data Scandal. During the 2010, the British consulting firm Cambridge Analytical collected personal data belonged to millions of Facebook users. This information was later analyzed to assist the 2016 presidential campaigns of Ted Cruz and Donald Trump. It is also suspected that Cambridge Analytical interfered with other notable events such as Brexit referendum. In spite of inappropriate data mining and misuse of user data, Facebook agreed to pay $100 million for misleading investors about the use of consumer data. The Securities and Exchange Commission claimed Facebook discovered the misuse in 2015 but did not correct disclosures 
for more than two years. Let us now discuss our next topic which is types of data mining. Various techniques can be used to mine data for different data science applications. Pattern recognition is a common data mining use case that's enabled by multiple techniques as is anomaly detection which aims to identify outliner values in data sets. Popular data mining techniques include the following types. Association rule mining. In data mining association rules are if then statements that identify relationships between data elements. Support and confidence criteria are used to assess the relationship support measures how frequently the related elements appear in a data set while confidence reflects the number of times and if then statement is accurate. Classification This approach assigns the elements in data sets to different categories defined as part of the data mining process. Decision trees, naive based classifiers, k nearest neighbor and logistic regression are some examples of classification methods. Clustering in this case, data elements that share particular characteristics are grouped together into clusters as part of data mining applications. For example, include K means clustering, hierarchical clustering and Gaussian mixture models. Regression. This is another way to find relationships in data sets by calculating predicted data values based on a set of variables. Linear regression and multivariated regression are examples. Decision trees and some other classification methods can be used to do regression too. Sequence and path analysis. Data can also be mined to look for patterns in which a particular set of events or values leads to later ones. Neural networks. A neural network is a set of algorithms that stimulates the activity of human brain. Neural networks are particularly useful in complex pattern recognition applications involving a more advanced offshoot of machine learning. Let us now discuss about benefits of data mining. In general, the business benefits of data mining come from the increased ability to uncover hidden patterns trends, correlations and anomalies in data sets. That information can be used to improve business decision making and strategic planning through a combination of conventional data analysis, more effective marketing and sales. Data mining helps marketers better understand customers behavior and preferences, which enables them to create targeted marketing and advertising campaigns. Similarly, sales team can use data mining results to improve lead conversion, rates and sell additional products and services to existing customers. Better customer service. Thanks to data mining companies can identify potential customer service issues more promptly and give contact center agents up to date information to use in calls and online chats with customer. Improved supply chain management. Organizations can spot market trends and forecast product demand and more accurately enabling them to better manage inventories of goods and supplies. Supply chain managers can also use information from data mining to optimize warehousing, distribution and other logistic operations. Increase production uptime. Mining operational data from sensors on manufacturing machines and other industrial equipment to identify potential problems before they occur, helping to avoid unscheduled downtime. A stronger risk managers and business executives can better assess financial, legal, cyber security and other risks to a company and develop plans for managing them. Lower cost data mining helps drive cost savings through operational efficiencies in business processes and reduce redundancy and waste in corporate spending. Ultimately, data mining initiatives can lead to high revenue and profits as well as competitive advantages that set companies apart from their business rivals. So, 
We have now come to the conclusion of this session. If you have any questions regarding today's topic, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. See you soon till then best wishes from TNV Academy. Thank you.